فعاش القلب إخلاصا وصرت تحومك الطير تحلق في ثقافات وتنهل من روب الخير السلام عليكم my brothers and sisters when things happen to us that are negative that we perceive as negative if you're a believer you have to look at the bright side you have to search for the positive within the negatives that's what is true conviction in the blessings of the almighty and in the almighty so say for example something goes wrong with your health you need to look at what did not go wrong with the rest of your health for example uh, if you've had uh, a migraine you need to tell yourself well i thank the almighty for not having taken away any other of the organs that i have if for example you've lost the eyesight in one eye you need to thank the almighty that he didn't take both eyes away if for example you've lost a leg you thank the almighty that he hasn't taken both legs away if we become depressed because we've lost one thing we will not be able to appreciate the rest of the faculties that the almighty has bestowed upon us and we won't be able to make use of them and perhaps our lives might come to a standstill yet if you were to google and nowadays we have youtube mashallah everything is at our fingertips within our phones and you look for those who are leading what looks like a normal life yet they have less than us in terms of health and organs and in terms of ability i've seen people without hands without legs yet they are so happy they're working they're coming back they're smiling they're making the most they're playing football <laughs> how you can google it and check may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us ease yet i've known of people who've lost a finger because it was sliced may allah grant us all protection but because it was sliced in a butcher boy machine and they they became so depressed that they had needed medication for depression not for the finger so the point i want to raise if you believe in the almighty and that belief is correct and it's true you must be from among those who searches for a positive within the negatives you've had a robbery for example and the, they came and stole some stuff from you take a look at what you have they didn't beat you up or uh, you know they didn't take everything away at least you're breathing look at the others who don't even have homes those who've been beaten up perhaps and even if you have been beaten up look at the fact that you're still alive you're still breathing you you can still do so much others have lost their lives may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us an understanding now we who are seated here watching from amongst us there may be those who might not have gone through so many, so much of difficulty Let's pray for the others. Let's pray for ourselves as well and everyone else. May Allah grant those who are struggling in whatever way they are struggling, cure, goodness, alleviation of that struggle and suffering and grant them ease. So my brothers and sisters, by praying for others, we would actually be uh, invoking the blessings of the Almighty upon ourselves. The hadith says the angels would pray for you similarly. So if you ask the Almighty for goodness for someone else, the angels are saying, "Oh Allah, grant that person goodness as well." because they care for everyone else and this is why those who care for others the most lead the happiest of lives you want to be happy reach out to others you want to be sad become selfish think about yourself now it's all about myself me and i you know me myself and i as they say if that's the case we lead a very depressed life even if we're wealthy even if we're healthy even if we're good looking even if we're on authority the reason why we become depressed we don't reach out to others when we reach out to others we are the happiest of people so let's go back to the original message that i had said right at the beginning of this session and i'm going to upload this inshallah on youtube i said that when allah has tested us with something that we perceive to be negative always search for the positives from that negative so that you can feel the blessings of the almighty you know you've got a little sickness something happened perhaps for example you were driving and um, uh, you had a puncture the car uh, broke down thank the almighty that it was just a puncture it could have been worse every time something happens you as a believer have to say it could have been worse don't get tired of saying it could have been worse because it definitely could have been worse and then you can go out and search for others whom it was worse for them you know i have a, a friend of mine who lost two family members in a car accident not too long ago and when i told him look it could have been worse you could have lost everyone initially he was not relating to what i was saying but later on a few days later he told me you know you're right i'm sitting and thinking the almighty has blessed me he didn't take everything away he only took some away and that too a test of the almighty if i am to bear sabr allah will grant me paradise in return 
for the patience that I have borne. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us, to grant every one of us a deeper understanding. When we say a deeper understanding, the reason why I keep repeating that dua, some people have an understanding, but when you don't have a deep understanding, there are things that affect you. The answer to it is so simple, but you're not prepared to actually consider the simple answer. It's a switch in the brain sometimes. You just click it on, click it off. It's up to you to make sure click and it's on and your problems are solved. You start looking at the bright side. You lost your job. Well, thank the Almighty you didn't lose your limbs. And thank the Almighty that you're still okay. You can survive. Maybe... You might have to downgrade your lifestyle, things might change, but take it in your stride. Make sure that you don't become upset with the Almighty. No questioning the Almighty. You know, uh, I know people who have become uh, widowed, for example, they've lost their spouses, uh, and they become so depressed and think that the world has crumbled and it's come to an end. No, it hasn't. You know, if one person, for example, is taken away by the Almighty, you need to... Uh, yes, bear sabr, you need to bear patience, you need to thank the Almighty that everything else is okay, you need to pray for that person, and you need to help yourself by continuing. Life hasn't stopped. Look, I'm going to draw a parallel with football, because obviously everyone is into Mo Salah at the moment. <laughs> so basically, if, if I can draw this parallel, when there is a football match, your aim is to score as many goals as possible. You know, one, two, three, even if it's 5-0, you've got to keep on trying to make it 10-0, 20-0, or whatever else it is, break world records. You have to keep on going for the entire time of that match. If you lose one man, does it mean the whole game must stop and everyone must become depressed and so on? You lost a man, you still got another 10 men, and you're, and you're going, subhanAllah, you're going. And keep on going, you might score another so many goals before. You, lose, you lost two men, three men. Keep going. But if you've given up, then you lost a man. And you know what? You're just depressed because, wow, I lost a man. <laughs> well, the same applies when we lose things in our lives. And sometimes even when we lose a member of the family or someone dear to us, we are like those who think, right, the match is over. The whistle has not yet been blown for you. You need to keep playing, keep trying to score the goal. And guess what? You'll be surprised how many goals you score before the end of the time. So my brothers and sisters, I am sitting at a friend's house and we were just discussing something. And uh, subhanAllah, I thought, let me uh, immediately share this beautiful message that I, that I thought would benefit myself and everyone else. And I really ask the Almighty to grant us goodness. Uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always make us from among those who looks or who look out for positives rather than negatives. Don't let anything depress you by the will of Allah. There is always a brighter side. And you know what? After the darkest hour comes daybreak. So remember that. May Allah bless you all. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.